When a light ray goes from water to air, it's also refracted, but this time away from the normal. So if we look at it being refracted from the beam that you can follow into the water here, you see it's refracted there. And if I switch hands, I can show you with the artificial fog, the beam in air as well. There is a limit, however, and you can see I can change angles to quite a big degree and it's always refracted, but there is a limit to where it's no longer refracted. And for this, I'm going to switch sides. I'm actually going to go in this way and you can see that there is refraction here. This is the beam refracted into air at the water air interface and then if I increase the angle let me do it slowly gradually no longer do I see any refraction now the light is internally reflected in fact totally internally reflected before that there was partly refracted light partly reflected by the water surface into the water again um, now as you can see at this um, smaller incidence angle towards the surface I have part of the light reflected into water, part of the light refracted into air. As I increase the angle, the light is 100% totally internally reflected. And the angle can get bigger, 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 bigger. When it gets to be 90 degrees, it's obviously totally internally reflected. Anywhere above the critical angle is where total inf internal reflection occurs.